Yeah, mom. Yeah, hey. Yeah. How you doing? Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, I've been watching that YouTube. What? You're watching it now, too? Since when do you know how to run a damn computer? You what? You started dipping. What? Oh, my good God. Are you serious? You what? You think Outlaw is sexy? Are you serious? Oh, my good God. You're old enough to be his grandma. Are you serious? No, I don't give a flying flute how hillbilly he is. Oh, my good God. Mom, well, I'm look. Hey, I'm gonna be start. I'm trying to do a video, okay? So can you, can you, can you call me back some other time? Huh? Please. Oh, good God. Whatever. No, I will not buy you a mud jug. Because you're just too old, and I'm not gonna go try to find your teeth every time you try to spit and your teeth come out. Oh, good God. No, just. Have Dad get you a damn bucket and a net to catch your damn teeth. Yeah, okay, whatever. Yes, I love you too. Yes, I'm wearing the socks you made for me, Mom. Mom, come on, Mom. Okay, fine. Whatever. Goodbye. Hello, everybody. It's me, the Hawkeye Dipper. Today we're going to be reviewing Kayak. Hope you enjoy it. Goodbye. Haven't been gone that long. Not a whole lot's happened between uh, my last video and now other than um, was pretty sick for a little while there. So damn sick, in fact, that I couldn't even dip. And that sucks. If you can't... Uh, you know, if you're... If you're truly sick, and you can't dip, there's nothing worse. Missed two days of work. That sucks. But needless to say, I'm going to do a little video on this, uh... Shikak. Or kayak. Crapkak. Whatever. Because, uh, I'm sorry, but, uh, I've already cracked it, as you can see, and had a little bit, because I was skeptical about this. In fact, actually, I, uh, I cracked this open when I was on Uvu with, uh, Chatty Lips. He tried it for the first time with me as well. We kind of both had the same opinion about it. So, anyways... It's funny though, it says, uh, this product can cause gum disease or tooth loss. Well, in my opinion, this stuff tastes so bad it will make your teeth fall out. Not because of, uh, not because of any cancer causing agents in it, but just because it tastes like crap. But, I'm still going to put in a lip with you guys and do another honest review. So, my jug of the day. We're still sporting the blue one. I love the thing. I really, <clears throat> really, really do. Now you all know, normally, I'm a Copenhagen wintergreen guy. But right now, I'm still still baby in this tub of stokers I got in the, in the freezer there. I can't do it all the time. It's not something I can, I can't dip it consistently like an everyday dip. <clears throat> I still, I still crave that, that Copenhagen feeling, that Copenhagen taste. Gotta get me some Copenhagen winter green. So, anyways, moving onward and upward, let's go ahead and, uh, pack a lip of this stuff, huh? I guess. I'm sorry for all of you guys out there that uh, actually enjoy this crap. I uh, I don't. 
it's definitely not good. I mean, it cost me two eighty nine here in Iowa. In Iowa. See, I got my Iowa shirt on. Iowa Hawkeyes hat. Hey, before I do this, just so you guys know, I don't know how well you guys will see this. But, uh, here. Here's the state. Alright. This general, I'm not going to tell you exactly where I live, but this general area right here is where I'm coming to you from. Right here. Okay? Just so you know. Go Hawkeyes. Alright. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. And we're going to be, uh, drinking us some Angry Orchard here. I don't drink very much. I really, I don't. I don't really care to. It's not something that, uh, not something that I'm addicted to. I like this. Well, excuse me, I ain't addicted to this. I like this. But, um, I just do it every now and again. <coughs> So anyways, let's start this off right. Packability in the can, it's okay. Um, as you can see, I've had about three, about three dips out of there. It don't pinch very well. It really, it don't. I mean, it's... I'm going to keep it in my freezer, though. I mean, I, I'm a tight ass. Granted, it, it may be shit dip, but it doesn't mean that someday I'm not going to be completely broke and not have a thing in the world to dip on. I'm going to have to have something to get me by till the next payday. Because Hawkeye Dipper, he ain't rich by no means. So, do a little, a little one here. Well, that's little to me, at least. Part of what I'm used to. Alright. I'm not looking forward to this, but for the sake of everything involved, here we go. Kayak Wintergreen. If I die, tell my wife I love her. Here we go. Well, now that I'm doing this review, I'm giving an honest opinion here. <clears throat> okay. Let's see here. Salty. Mm. Not, not too much line of wintergreen, really. More of a, more of a just regular tobacco flavor. Not even a natural flavor, just like a tobacco flavor. Now, this is made by Swisher International, which would mean it's the same company that makes the Swisher cigars and shit. So, <clears throat> now, here in Iowa, I know I can get Kayak grape, Kai crap, <laughs> Kai crap, Kai crap, wintergreen, and then they had straight or natural or something. I'm not okay. There, a little bit of wintergreen came out of there, a little bit. Kind of cr just Tui. Woo It touched the back of my throat. Yuck. Ugh. 
Hell, I don't even mind that when Copenhagen does that, but this shit, whoa. Whew. That don't want hair in your nuts. If he ain't got hair there, they'll put it there. Wow. Holy shit. That was nasty. Damn. Wash this thing down. Ugh. No, not cool. Ah. Okay. A little bit of lip burn. Not much. A lot less than Copenhagen. Now this is, bear in mind, this is in comparison to Copenhagen. Because so far I've only dipped two different kinds, well, actually three now. Three different kinds of wintergreen. Copenhagen. Stokers, which is a Stokers is a breed all its own. Okay. Now, I haven't had I haven't had a skull wintergreen yet. Now, in the past, I did dip once a skull mint spearmint. I did not care for it. That was a long time ago, though. But anyways, um, Stokers has got a flavor all its own. And that's what makes it unique. Because I can take a break from this or that or whatever, and it's not like I'm just, I don't know, it's just different. So anyway, <sighs> um, anyways, no, I ain't, I suppose if you're broke, 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 and you couldn't find nothing else to dip, You'd have to go with this. I feel sorry for the guys that have to do this. I really do. But, uh... I mean, it... it I don't know. It just ain't me. It ain't the type that I want. Honestly, I don't... I don't know. However, though, it does say... 100% domestically grown tobacco. That's a good thing. At least it's all from the U.S. But it's whatever the hell they do to it once they get it there. Let some cow shit on it or something. I don't know. It just ain't right. Anyways. I don't care for it. I really I don't. Okay. Anyways. <clears throat> enough of that kai crap. On to other business. Thank you to all the who have subscribed to me. I appreciate it. I really do. Um, thank you to all who have watched my videos. I appreciate it. And to those who have commented. I'm going to do one shout out. This person never asked for it. But I'm going to decide to do it anyways. Move this over a little bit. Now, this guy here, he, uh, I never even knew he had a channel until he left a comment on my channel, or my video once, about a week ago, and I went and checked him out, I subscribed to him myself, pretty cool dude, he don't do nothing crazy in his videos, you know, he just talks to you and tells you what's going on. Kind of like I'm doing right now. Just got home from work. It's uh, 7 to midnight. I don't really feel like being too awfully goofy right now. I'm still kind of getting over being sick. So, but anyway, so, no, uh, you guys should really go out and check out. Uh, let me remember his name right. Chubfucker is his name. Now, that's not with an F, that's with a PH. Pretty cool dude. He's got this uh, Facebook page, uh, dipstreet.com. Haven't been on it yet, but I plan to. 
So anyways, <clears throat> shout out to you, my friend. Pretty cool shit. You really are. You know, I'm just like you. Wintergreen guy. Hey, uh, for all of you who are watching down there, leave a comment down, down there and below about uh, what your favorite wintergreen is and what your least favorite is. Okay? And I'm going to start something new now. Um, I want you guys to tell me in the comments what dip you want me to try next. I'll do dip, I'll do chew. I don't care. And I'll give you a little scope of what we have available here in Iowa. We have all the Copenhagen's, including Southern Blend, which I am going to, I have dipped it, I just don't. My tins are on here somewhere. Somewheres. Oh well. It's here. I just I ain't gonna go dig it out. Um I'll do an, I'll do a dip review on that. But I have all the Copenhagen's. All the skulls. We have Grizzly. All the different Grizzlies. We have Shithorn. And we got kayak and stokers, but I gotta go to the tea store to get that though. And I don't think I think that's all the dip we got here. And then as far as chewing tobacco, Redman Levi Garrett, and I think we can get stokers or Southern Pride. I think. I think. Don't quote me on that. I think. So, uh, go ahead and leave me a comment and tell me what you're going to try next. Heck, I'll try any kind of dip at least once. I, I tried this shit, knowing full well what I was in for. But, it is what it is. You know, you, they gotta have a dip for everybody that can afford whatever they can. Now, anyways. I, uh... I don't really have any funny stories to tell you right now, but um, I'll tell you one of my uh, delivery stories. Now, bear in mind, I I deliver pizzas at night, okay? So I uh, I see things every now and again. Nothing. I mean, I ain't run into no naked women or nothing, but. Uh, and thank God for that. I don't, no. I don't care to, no. Nah. But anyways, though, I remember one night, it was late. We, was, we had everything wrapped up, getting ready to close. And we had a late minute call, last minute call come in. In fact, it was three minutes to close. The guy I was closing with, he uh, took the call and I looked to see who it was. Recognized the address and stuff. And remembered that uh, she was always really friendly with me. So I thought I, I had this whole scheme wrapped up in my head that I was going to go in there and tell her that I made her wings special just for her. That we just put, I had put more sauce on her wings and, and that there was extra stuff on her pizza, you know, all good toppings on her pizza and... Everything was done up just special for her. I had all this right in my head because I was thinking I was going to be able to get a nice good tip. Playing this out in my head the whole time I was driving down there. Driving along thinking, I thought, all right, I want to get a good tip. Yep, yep, yep. Get there. Knock on the door. No answer. I knock again. No answer. Pull out my phone, get ready to call, and the door opens. Put my phone away, lift my head up. It's not that woman. <laughs> it's a Mexican. No shirt on, pants, unbuttoned, belt undone, and unzipped. 
and I my jaw just drops. I'm like, uh, pizza. He's like, yeast. Told him how much it was, and of course I got no tip. And oh, I think I got like a a thirty cent tip. So I kind of walk out of there with my tail between my legs, get back in the truck, and I just start laughing the whole way back to the back to work. I just laughed so hard. Oh my God, I laughed my ass off. It was so funny. I hear I was expecting to get a nice good tip and run into this lady that was always friendly to me and thinking I was going to butter her up and get a nice big tip and what walks out a half-naked Mexican. Obviously, he was having fun, obviously, <laughs> with her. But anyways, that was rather unexpected. Kind of like off the movie, uh, what's that movie? Uh, crap. Half-Baked, where that dude says, um, I totally didn't expect that to happen. I can't remember exactly how it happened. But anyways, y'all, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was kind of funny. In fact, it was very funny. I laughed about it the whole way back. The whole way. Alright, and as a little side note here, I'll have you guys know, I have been completely smoke-free now for just a few days short of a month. And I couldn't be more proud of myself. And I'm going to keep saying this. Probably forever. I quit smoking because of the video that I ran into. How smokeless tobacco can save your life. If you're a smoker and you're watching this, check it out. It, If it can change me, well, I chose to do it. But still. Guys, trust me. If you're smoking right now, you ain't doing nothing but hurting yourself. Now, granted, this isn't exactly what the doctor ordered, but you want to know something? I feel so much better now that I've quit smoking. I sleep better. I feel better. And I'll tell you this right now. In these past in this past month, past few weeks especially, the crap that I've been hacking up is so nasty that I'd rather swallow my dip spit. Then look at the shit that I've been hacking up from smoking. It's nasty. And I think it just sits around in your lungs. Now people can say what you want, what they want about this stuff. I'd rather lose some teeth, have a, have a, have a receding gum line, than lose my lungs. Okay? But anyways, that's enough of that. Y'all have a good night. Remember, if you're broke and you have to, dip kayak. Otherwise, stick with the good shit. Or at least you get stokers. Good God. I'm going to spit this out as soon as I'm done with this because this is... It's already lost its flavor. Already. So anyways, though, this is the Hawkeye Dipper. Remember... You dip for broke or you don't dip at all. Have a good night. See you later.